MathCAD Prime 11 restores the capability to use custom unit systems in your worksheets. This is absolutely wonderful for engineers. Let me give you a little bit of backstory. Back in the old MathCAD, we're talking about before Prime, like MathCAD 12, 13, 14, 15, you could create custom unit systems. Unfortunately, when the switch was made to Prime, well, that's one of the things that was not immediately available, but now we have it back again. So let's talk about how things used to be and what you can do now. Here I am in a MathCAD worksheet. If you click on the unit systems command, you used to have three choices for a unit system. You could use SI and your length unit was meters. You could use the US customary system. Your length unit in that situation would be feet. And you also had the centimeter gram second unit system. And in that system, your length unit is centimeters. And if you're an engineer, you're probably used to working in either inches if you are in the US or working in millimeters if you are in the rest of the world. If you are using Creo Parametric, you're probably using either inches or millimeters for your design work. And so that was a bit of a hassle when you were trying to integrate your CAD models with MathCAD as well. But anyhow, now we have the great choice of doing a custom unit system once more. Oh yeah, by the way, let me move this dialog box over just so you can see that. I do have a couple of math regions here. I have a math region where I'm adding up a bunch of disparate length units together. And then here's the results of the calculation and it is in meters. Well, for creating a custom unit system, First, you are going to select what you want it to be based on. Right now, it is based on the SI system, but let's say that I want it to be based on the US customary system. Maybe I'm working here in Washington state and I need to be using USCS, but I don't wanna be using the length unit of feet. So I can select that from the list of base dimensions and then click the change button. And here are all the different length dimensions that you have available to you. And I could find the one that I want. I want this to be in inches and then I can click the okay button. And that's good for what I am doing. I will click okay once more. And now it is reporting the length to me in inches, just like I want to be using. Or let's say I want this to be in millimeters. Let's go back to custom. I'm gonna change this from USCS to SI. And yes, it's telling me that it is going to discard what I was using. And then for length, let's choose the change button once more. And I will look in this list for millimeters, then click OK and click OK once more. And now we have the result reported in millimeters. Before I show you a couple of other worksheets, I wanna just talk about this dialog box a little bit more. So when I chose the custom unit system, we have our base dimensions up at the top for things like current, length, mass, temperature, time, and so on. And then we have a bunch of default derived units like capacitance, we have our energy in joules, force in newtons, we have potential in volts, pressure in pascals. So you can change any of these different things. Let's take a look at doing that in the next worksheet. Let me go to a worksheet that I have, and this is a worksheet that I made for connecting to Creo Parametric. I use this in the book. I'm not trying to show, show my book uh, to you, but it's a very simple example for optimizing a cylinder for a given surface area and we have some initial values and we want to calculate the dimensions that will give us the maximum volume for it. So let me scroll down on through here. And so for passing the results back to Creo Parametric, you need to evaluate them, but here they are in feet. And we're, here we have a calculation for the volume. Let me evaluate those. Let's, let me show you that H, let me just do H. H is going to be equal to, well, this value in feet. 
r is going to be equal to this value in feet. And if I want to calculate the volume, I have a function for that. Volume as a function of h and r. This is going to be equal to, here is the value in gallons. Well, let's say instead I want to see this in inches like I'm used to designing in. Let's go to our unit system button. And once again, I will choose custom. And let's base this off of USCS. And for the length unit, I'm going to change that. And instead, I'm going to use inches like I want to use. But you can mix and match even. So here we have volume, and it is reporting it in US liquid gallons. I can click on the change button for the derived units. And let's say, for whatever reason, I want the result reported in liters. I can do that. Let's click the OK button and then click OK once more. And now it updates the worksheet. So here we have our H value in inches, R in inches, and the calculated volume in liters. We are able to mix and match. Now let's take a look at another example. So here is a worksheet for torque for fasteners. I did a webcast for PTC. Please go to PTC's MathCAD web MathCAD channel on YouTube, and you can find that webcast and take a look at it. And I showed how you could calculate torque. You know, it's about engineering calculations. So, and so we have all this information in here. And so then down at the bottom, here we have a drop down list where you can choose different diameters that you want to use. For example, let's say that I have a half inch diameter bolt, and it updates the calculation in here. But here's what happens when we evaluate the diameter and the torque using MathCAD's units. We get our diameter in feet, really weird number, and here's our torque, and we get this weird unit because, again, I was trying to show people, hey, this is the value in inch, pounds, feet. So let's use a custom unit system for this one. Let me go to the unit system button once again. And we want to use our custom unit system. And let's choose that. And then, yeah, once again, I'm using USCS. Hey, sue me. I am in Seattle. I am biased towards what I've used at almost every single job I've worked at. So let's change our length unit once more. And I'm going to change that to inches and then click the OK button. And then here we have our derived units, and I'm scrolling down through the list. Okay, blah, 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 luminance, okay, nope, power, nope, resistance, nope. Oh, I don't have torque in here. Hey, you can insert derived units into this list. I will click on the insert button, and here, are whole, here is a whole bunch of different derived units like acceleration, and we've got area, and we've got dose and permeability, permittivity, but here we have the torque value. And torque, here we have a bunch of different units. And hey, I like my inch pound force. That's the one that I want to use for my torque values. Let me click the OK button and then click OK once more. The worksheet is updating. Bam, there you got it. I have my Diameter of the bolt in inches. I have my torque in inch pounds force. Everything is great in the world. I choose if I go to my drop down list and let's say that, oh, we need to use a seventh and eighth diameter. Hey, these values update appropriately. So, again, custom unit systems, absolutely wonderful. I am so happy. I am overjoyed. Check out MathCAD Prime 11 for the restoration of this wonderful functionality.